A little over a year ago, we opened uh, our retail storefront in downtown Grand Junction, Colorado, out here on the west slope where the uh, the Rocky Mountains meet the, the Colorado Plateau, all the hard desert country out west of us. Uh, this pack, the Junction Pack, exists because we opened that shop. You see, for most, uh, most Hill People Gear employees, the Umlindi with a belt on it is going to be our number one choice for a day pack. That's We're prepared sorts of folks. We've always got enough to bivouac overnight comfortably, uh, and so we just end up using the Umlindi for day hiking all the time. Uh, the Terra Humara on the smaller side uh, makes a great mountain biking pack or really lightweight pack with just the essentials plus maybe a raincoat. Uh, the problem is that here in this environment, Really, you need the essentials plus a puffy jacket, which is something that takes up a lot of volume. Uh, and so we wanted a pack that when folks walked into the storefront and said, hey, I want to hike the local trails, we could point to the pack and say, this is your choice because we know you can carry a couple quarts of water, all the essentials, raincoat, puffy jacket. Uh, so let me run down what we've got going on with the junction here. Uh, first of all, because of who we wanted to, to make it for, we wanted to make it a little bit less technical. Uh, we've observed that folks on the Terra Humara often remove the compression straps or just simply don't even buckle them. So we wanted a compression setup because compression is very important that uh, would be it would look just fine. You wouldn't go down the trail looking like you don't know what's going on if you don't use it, um, but at the same time would provide some function. So we have this uh, draw cord style compression in the center. You can compress the pack that way. You can put a jacket underneath it if you want to, or a tripod, something oversized like that. <coughs> um, when you tension it, it will tension the pockets here so nothing falls out of the pockets. These are uh, diagonal cut oversized wand pockets for those of you who care. Uh, this will take the heavy cover canteen with canteen cup. <clears throat> so it's uh, pretty simple in that regard. At the same time, uh, a lot of folks want just a little zippered accessory pocket, uh, which this has. I carry my toilet paper in it, but this is where folks would put their cell phone and their keys. <clears throat> uh, another common request is a bladder pocket. So the junction has a zippered bladder pocket on the suspension side with a hang tab. Uh, but as a bonus, uh, this pocket at nine inches wide will fit all of the laptops we tried that are 13.3 inch displays and smaller. Uh, and in fact, some that were larger than that. So the critical dimension is this is a nine inch opening. If your laptop on its shortest axis is nine inches or less, you're gonna be able to fit it in here, which makes it kind of a nice little EDC. And of course, any of the iPads or anything like that will go on it as well. <coughs> Inside, there's uh, it's just one big compartment, uh, easy to stuff, real simple, real user friendly. Uh, it does, like all of our packs, has a height adjustable torso, which is really important um, for uh, landing it in your lumbar area and transferring load uh, as as best we can. And of course, our our shoulder harness. This is not a belt capable pack. This is a simple shoulder only pack, but. Uh, Size-wise, it's a nice size that's uh, in between the Terra Humara and the Umlindi. The, uh, the Terra Humara, it's the same 17-inch height as the Terra Humara, uh, but it's an inch wider, 10 inches, and then the depth of it at uh, 5 inches deep makes it actually quite a bit bigger than the Terra Humara. It's half again the size of a Terra Humara, uh, particularly when you take into account these oversized pockets where you can shove even the Nalgene silos um, and, and really have a lot of water and gear on board. <clears throat> we did uh, make it uh, pocket capable. Uh, I've just got to say it's it's on the big side for a back pocket. Like this would be way too much on an Umlindi unless you kept it really compressed. Uh, it would make a great uh, rear pocket for the the decker, you know, where you can basically uh, pull out that center panel on the decker and clip this in place. It'll be good for that. Uh, you might put it on a Quia again. I'd probably want to keep it a little bit more compressed than not on a Quia because this would be a lot of weight and volume to have on the back of a Quia. Um, but, you know, it, it could work for that as well. Uh, so that's it. The the junction pack, um, this really is, is our number one 
recommendation for somebody who wants to hike the local trails, carry as much gear as they as they should. Um, but uh, it's not uh, it's not going to be our choice for like a more backcountry oriented uh, uh, trip, just because we like to carry more gear. But goodness knows there's plenty of people who go further into the backcountry with less gear than we do, and this might be a great choice for them. The uh, the junction pack. <laughs>